So now we're going to talk about the bathtub. I don't know what the lighting is. If the building crashed to the ground, Manhattan would have been flooded because that dike around the bathtub would have been ruptured. And all of the path train tunnels and subway tunnels are all connected underground and they would all have been flooded. That didn't happen. Here are the towers before they built across the street. There was just water right there at the base of the towers. And the towers go well below the water table. There's also the rail lines that come under the Hudson up into the base of the bathtub. That tunnel was not damaged. First, they, they were worried because they had water in the tunnel, but they had fire hoses on it, rainwater going in there. But once they pumped it out, it stayed dry. That's the bathtub wall, it's called, or slurry wall, or dike, whatever you want to call it. It keeps out the Hudson River. The towers were actually built in the Hudson River, 70 feet below the water table. That's seven times 10. So they're pretty far down there. And if that thing had been ruptured, Lower Manhattan would have been flooded. And here's the Hudson River, and there's, as they're constructing it, you can see way deep down in there is the base, down there in bedrock. The, the path trains from the Jersey side used to come up through here and back out, but they rerouted them to turn around in that the new big bathtub. Uh, I thought the seismic data you were going to look at was data associated with the collapse of the tower, particularly two. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, we did look. We. I mean, obviously, we have looked at all of the seismic signals. Um, the the main focus of that was to establish the timing of the various events, uh, and and if any, uh, uh, again, using it also to see if there were any um, any events that we could not explain other than it being the collapse of the of the towers and and the World Trade Center Seven. Uh, the the signals strength due to the collapse of the towers were not of any magnitude that was seismically significant from an earthquake design standpoint or from the design or failure of a structural component or of, uh, I would say, a piping system that might be used in a structure. So uh, there wasn't anything that gave us uh, pause in terms of that being a significant seismic event uh, to have ruptured the pipeline. This was a meeting that NIST had to, to determine what happened to Building 7. So they're wondering if there's any pipelines that went through the bathtub over to Building 7. And it, it, he said it wasn't seismically significant enough to have ruptured a pipeline to cause any damage. You have two buildings, half a million tons each, slamming to the ground, and it's not a seismically significant event. And the bathtub's fine at the end of the day. Tower 1's base is right here, down the bedrock. There's the old parking garage after they cleaned it out. 